In this example, we're going to look at four different problems where we're asked to find output given input. Our functions are exponential functions, f of x and g of x, as given on the screen and on your paper. In part a, we're asked to find f of x when x equals 2. So what we're really looking for in this case is f of 2. And the way we're going to compute that, we're going to use our calculator, but we're going to enter 125 times 1.25, and we're going to look for the caret, and we're going to enter a value of 2. So let's see how that works on the calculator. I'm going to press 1, 2, 5, parentheses, 1.25, and parentheses, and I can either use the x squared on the calculator or I can use the caret, either one. Sometimes I like to use the caret because that works for all exponents. Then my exponent is 2, and then I'm going to press enter, which should give me my result. Now this problem didn't really say how many decimals to round to, but I'd recommend that we do everything to two decimals unless otherwise stated. So that would be 195.31. Let's go on to part B. It's going to be the same kind of thing. We're actually asked to find g of x when x equals 2. So we're going to evaluate g of 2, which is going to be 125 times 0.75, and we're going to raise that to the second power. I'm going to clear out my calculator and start over. This is going to give me then the opportunity to enter 125 parentheses 0.75 caret 2 equals or enter gives me 70.3125 if I round that to the second decimal that's going to give me 70.31 let's do the same thing for part C find f of x when x equals negative 4 so f of negative 4 equals 125 times 1.25 exponent, oops, exponent, parentheses, negative 4. Now notice I put the exponent in parentheses because it's negative. You don't always have to do that, but it's a good habit to get into. I'm going to completely clear my calculator screen so you can see everything from scratch. 1, 2, 5 parenthesis 1.25 in parenthesis exponent and it's probably going to be fine in this case not to use parentheses but it's just a habit that dies hard with me and I like to teach students to separate those negative exponents so let's put the negative 4 in parentheses and then hit enter we get 51.2. We don't have to round that because it's already rounded to, or it comes out to be one decimal. If you wanted to write it as two decimals, you'd need to go ahead and include that zero. Last one, find g of x when x equals negative four. So we're looking at g of negative four equals 125 times 0.75 exponent Oh, I did it again. Exponent, there we go. Power is negative 4. I'm going to clear everything on the calculator. Clear the key press so you can see it from scratch. 1, 2, 5, parenthesis, point, 7, 5, in parenthesis, exponent. Second set of parentheses, negative 4, parenthesis, and enter. So here we're going to get 395 point, and if we round to second decimal, 395.06.